Dang, I ain't start my car there in a week. Let's make sure it start up. Woo, yes. Oh, I ain't starting my car in damn near a week, gang. But get what? It's gonna be nice to sit down, chill, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make sure we all start the picture frame. So it's gonna be nice to sit down and chill video. My car is cold. I'm just not starting it. So my man. We gonna explain every single problem that is wrong with my car. My car is going to the shop. I know I've been saying this, but it is really going to the shop for real. So we gonna go through everything that is wrong with my car. You know what I'm saying? Everything that is wrong. We gonna let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Cause y'all the gang. And why would I not let y'all know if I'm taking to the shop and y'all gonna see it? Say, why the forewarn y'all get y'all prepared? You know what I'm saying? And all that good type of stuff. But first thing first, Go down there, smash the like button. We need at least 60 likes on this video. Go smash the like button, go subscribe. We are so close, I think like 3.5K, you know what I'm saying? Get your boy to 4K and I got some heat coming for y'all, no cap. Get us to 4K, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I got some heat coming for y'all, but for to do, let's get into this video. All right, gang, so first thing first, one of the few problems that I have, man, I did a pull the other day, did a slight little pull, um, and it's like when I'm driving my car, it's in a different gear. Like, as soon as I get left the gas, it get to like popping and uh, backfiring and like I'm downshifting it. I know it's, it's gonna sound weird to y'all, but it's like some save my car and drive on the dashboard, right? So my car and drive on the dashboard, my, and it's in drive during the, in the shifter. And then I actually can shift up, like I go over and shift up and I can like hear my car shifting up. It's kind of crazy. So I think I got a problem within my trans. I don't know what it is. So uh, that's happening with the trans. Uh, I got to, I had broke the trans and I broke my diff. So we are gonna see if I got any type of warranty work on the trans. So my trans might be out of there, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's not, man. So that is one of my problems, my trans. Now it's the crazy part. I am like driving, it's shifting perfectly. Everything is perfect. It's shifting perfectly, but sometimes it'll just be feeling like it's in the wrong gear. Now a lot of people say that these cars, uh, when they start up, like the computer got to boot up or something and the transmissions are like terrible. You know what I'm saying? I am just not getting my first dose of what they saying. You know what I'm saying? But besides that, like this car has not really caused me no trouble. When I broke my diff and my uh, trans, that's something I was doing. I was out there playing and BS. And so I had to pay 2,500. If y'all have not seen that video, you know what I'm saying? Up there, go watch it. So I had to pay 2,500 to get my diff. Uh, and my transfers, I broke my whole diff. I was gonna go with a scat diff, but I had to change the axles and the hubs, and it was just too much. I ain't gonna lie, your boy ain't got money like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to go with the regular, I think it's like a 272 gear, or anyway. So, hopefully, that uh, got some warranty work. I'm gonna have him look at my trans very soon. Uh, I think. I don't know. I think I'm having more problems with my diff. And I have not. Listen, I have not did anything crazy. If I was going to do something crazy, y'all would have seen the videos. I have not did anything crazy. So, I want to look at my diff too. So, check, check my diff and my trans. Uh, so, I guess that's going to be one problem. Okay, boom. Now, y'all know I had a problem with my gas tank. So, when I pump gas, it'll go real slow. And it's like I'm going to take it. Now, they say it's too much air inside the lines or something like that so i had like the evap system fixed now the evap system did fix it and made it take more gas at once but it's not like i can't just click the lever and the gas go by itself so uh we got to figure out what is still messing that up my gas gauge can be off sometimes too big of a problem but it can be off. i'm sorry if i'm talking so fast but uh but my gas tank can show that it's off you know what i'm saying um Y'all seen my last video, we had got the doors fixed. So my doors was a problem, but that's cool. Uh, one of the bigger problems, y'all. Uh, man. I think my motor is on the verge of like, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? We ain't even gonna stress on it. 
uh, I've been babying like I always be. I don't, I don't beat on my car, you know what I'm saying? But it's like I've been leaking coolant, you know what I'm saying? I, I was smelling coolant, burning a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we had changed the thermostat, and this was the biggest problem. This is why I think, like, if y'all remember a couple videos back, I showed y'all inside of my cooler. I'm trying to put a clip in right here. Put in your radiator to stop leaking this? Huh? You put in your radiator to stop leak? No. Nah. Why is there a foam inside? Why is there what? Foam. Foam? Yeah. Holy shit. You got a chunk there and a chunk there. What? Man, yeah, it's like some foam stuff in there, man. So as y'all can see, it was like some kind of clay in my coolant. So the guy I had put in my 180 degree thermostat did not put a freaking um, thermostat gasket. So when we put the new thermostat in, it was no gasket. And I'm thinking that's what happened and my thermostat ended up going bad, which made the clay. Cause after we got new gasket in there and new thermostat started by my boy T-Baby, the clay has not been in there the coolant, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I have a damn blown head gasket. I hope my head gasket is not blown. So, I already got a couple shops I've been looking at. They said 1500 to 2000 to get the gasket fixed. So, um, I haven't really had like no, no, uh, too big of a sign. But sometimes, this game was a while back. I was kind of going fast, a little over 100, you know what I'm saying? I'm cute, but, and like my, it was smoke out of my tailpipe. Now, somebody told me, that happens when you got a blown head gas. So I gotta go get a pressure test done. Hope to God it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it ain't my damn head gas. If it's my head gas, I'm gonna be sick. But either way, it's gonna get fixed. You know what I'm saying? Now people said if your head gas is, is blown, most likely you're gonna have like your your oil gonna be milky gonna smell cooling out the, out the uh, pipes. I have not smelled cooling. I have not had milky oil. I check my oil all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't pretty much know. I do got a little cooling leak, so my cooling leak gotta be figured out. Don't know what that's coming from. Uh, but yeah, that's what they said. I am hoping, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping I do not got a blown head gas. My car don't tick. You know what I'm saying? Don't do nothing. Start right up. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can just see. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully the car won't be gone for too long, but I am dropping it off this week for sure. So may maybe the next video is going to be me dropping off, but this is going to be like a follow-up video to the next video. So the car will be away from the channel. Hopefully not for too long. When I dropped my car up last time, my car was gone for damn near a month. That's only because I tried to go get a scat diff and uh, it was just too much, you know what I'm saying? Like too much shipping and I needed more parts and you know what I'm saying? So now we discussed the gas problem, the head gasket problem, the thermostat uh, was put in bold. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You put, you put my gasket and my damn thermostat in bold as hell. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say no names, but you know who you did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and my damn suspension is terrible because I ain't gonna lie, in the summer, I used to beat on my car so much. I'm, you know what I'm saying, 20, my first V8, I used to slide my car, do donuts, race it crazy. So, I have suspension work that needs to be fixed. My suspension, something under there is just broke. But I was just gonna buy like a huge kit and get everything fixed because people already say that the, uh, Suspension on these cars is terrible, man. They say this suspension is terrible. My boy T had to get suspension work. My boy Martin said he spent a lot of money when he first got his car because his suspension was messed up. You know what I'm saying? So these suspension in these cars are terrible. It does nothing about it. It's just no way around it. Like, I see the heat ready. But suspension in these cars are terrible. It's just what it is. And the 300 first gen, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about second and third or whatever, but they all gonna tell you, they all gonna tell you the same thing. These suspensions don't last, you know what I'm saying? They are very terrible, you know what I'm saying? It's just mind blowing, but 
I, mean, I guess it's a car channel, so we gonna have to build the car up to my liking. Now, if y'all haven't seen the stuff I did, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to make a whole video just showing y'all how I turned my car up. My car used to be so plain, basic, boring, old factory rims, uh, chrome still on the car, stuff. So shout out to Pack of Punch Performance on the screen right now. That is who been helping me with this whole car build. Now, uh, like I had so much stuff in plan. Like this car has came so far already. I feel like man, so we gotta keep going up from here. You know what I'm saying? So we're not gonna let this little hiccup of me putting my car in the shop. Uh, we're not gonna let this. You know what I'm saying? Mess nothing up. What we got coming up? You know what I'm saying? But it's for sure gonna be a tiny hiccup. But I don't feel like my car gonna be gone for too long. And if even for this, y'all probably won't know. I'm gonna have videos lined up back to back to back. So. Y'all won't miss a y'all won't miss a video. It might be like a little older video. I'm gonna have pre-recorded, but <sighs> y'all won't even know the difference. But yeah, a lot of y'all is very intrigued about how many miles I got on my car. I have seventy-six thousand and five hundred seventy-five. I am currently like hundred miles over that damn oil check. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? YouTube got that check. I need that oil change. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out what else is wrong with my car. It's cold as shit in here. Uh, what else is wrong with my car? Um, that's pretty much it, man. The car is perfect, though. Uh, I just want a couple of things to get, um, to get evaluated and get looked at before this summer comes up. It is winter time. Michigan, it is cold as hell. So, uh, I might have to get my car ready for the summer. So, I'm going to have this car looked at and everything. What was going to be wrong with my car. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So, a lot of y'all keep saying get tail lights. <sighs> I'm going to get tail lights. I can't tell y'all when. I want to get them after I get my car at the shop. Because it's to be more smart financially. But, it ain't going to come for sure. Like, I'm going to get new tail lights. Uh, headlights gonna be tenant fog lights gonna be working and i'm gonna be tenant uh so this is a car channel y'all gotta stick with me subscribe and stay together you know what i'm saying y'all gonna see me turn this car up if you ain't seen me turn it up for what it was before man you gotta come on and be with it you know what i'm saying because we gonna have this movement we're gonna make it to the top i want to bring y'all with me man no cap that, that's pretty much about it that's really wrong with my car these blue lights so damn sweet y'all look at that i got them all around you know what i'm saying but i start something else i start my floor lights you know what i'm saying in the full led floor lights i really don't use them i forget i even have them but i'm gonna turn them on right now and show y'all them floor lights real quick yeah so look y'all ready gang so it's all powered by the freaking app we're gonna turn that on yeah, so you basically like make it like, you know what I'm saying, brighter dim. I like it, man. Just a little bit to set the mood, you know what I'm saying. If you with the honeys, you know what I'm saying. My homie, you know what I'm saying. I did get that done though. And I know y'all want to see me like do racing videos and performance mods. So far, all I got done in my car is air intake thermostat, 180 degree thermostat. Thermostat does not add power, y'all. So don't. My ass blue, <laughs> but thermostat does not add power. You get what I'm saying? It just make your car run cooler. You know what I'm saying? So if your car overheat, go get a better thermostat. Get a cooler thermostat. It does not make your car faster. It make it run better. You know what I'm saying? There's some heat on in this motherfucker. Besides that, I really don't know what is um. I don't see too much wrong with what's wrong with my car. Now, um, this is gonna be okay. Okay, this is a whole new topic. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna lie. I got something on my sleeve. Y'all know I don't got no freaking moonroof, sunroof, whatever the hell you want to call it. So if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. It's like no, but if you don't know. I ain't got that, so something gonna be up there. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. So that is gonna be a future mod coming to the channel. We gonna put something up there, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna look crazy at nighttime. Uh, yeah, so y'all just gotta stick around, stay tuned. And I got one thing I do wanna talk to y'all about. Well, actually two things. Since we already chilling, you know what I'm saying? I got two things we wanna talk about. One thing, so I think 
Uh, April 10th is the demonology, you know what I'm saying, YouTuber call out, all that. So, uh, I believe the whole crew is going. T want to go, Mott want to go, I think Josh going, Ty going, you know what I'm saying? Everybody I rock with is going. So, I ain't gonna lie, y'all might see the Big 300 at the Texas, uh, at the Texas Motorplex, whatever it is called. So, if any of y'all in Texas, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna guarantee it yet, but I'm gonna make a follow-up video that I'm most likely going to have my car out there. Uh, but I ain't gonna lie, it's a 20-hour drive from Detroit, so my car gotta be, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be fully ready, you know what I'm saying? With suspension and everything, so it has to be running to the T. Cause my car break down that far, Shipping the shipping car, you know what I'm saying, across state is thousand. So I gotta make sure my car is fully ready. But uh I might not even go because I'm gonna need another driver. I can't drive 20 hours straight. And Josh talking about going 20 hours straight, so I don't know. We're gonna have to see. My camera battery is finna die. I've been going through this little situation with uh I guess it's been a fan, a, a, a weird creepy fan, something whatever it is, been trying to leak my address. I pretty much found out who it was. So the guy been trying to leak my address uh on Instagram live and my pictures on my comments. Uh it's everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So if you did my um by a chance to come across my address and you think you can come here i'm sorry you know what i'm saying i rock with y'all so much but this is my home this is my privacy this is where uh me and my family lay their head at so in all respect you know what i'm saying and the coincidence if somebody did come here you will be taken as a threat and i have no other way to take you you know what i'm saying so uh that's the one thing I wanted to talk about. This has been happening for weeks. So it's, it's been a some guy leaking my address and, and doing all types of crazy stuff. So you will be um, taken as a threat. Uh, I am a firm believer in Second Amendment rights. You know what I'm saying? So uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying, license in my house. And I would hate to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too deep into it, but uh, you know who you are. You get what I'm saying? So. I just wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't come here, honestly. Uh, it, it's just not worth it, you know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all rocking me, DM me. I DM everybody back. We can talk like that, you get what I'm saying? But if you was, you know what I'm saying? You just got to respect my house and my livelihood. My parents live here, and uh, I got family here. So, uh, it, it just, you will be taken as a threat. No if, and, or but. But, man, without further ado, this video is over. This video is done. I am eBay shot it. And I'm out. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us, man, down. He took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped these hands and I dog itching to do a drill.